Hey, Judah. Oh, God, no. Hey, Judah. I'm working. I'm working. I know you hear me, you flat-headed turkey. Oh, Patushka, my colleague whom I respect. Hello. I saw your report on hydrogen power, how they might replace natural gas with this stuff. Oh, that old thing? Seems you missed some pretty important information. Stuff I'd never miss. Like how pipes might leak, and how unburned hydrogen would trap heat. Oh, well, I knew that. It just didn't make the cut. Or how a water-strapped state is building out a water-intensive fuel. Or how hydrogen combustion produces lung-damaging air pollution. Did you know that? Did ya? Look, there's no question. There's some real environmental justice concerns here. Especially with the low-income communities that'll be living alongside these hydrogen plants. All that money's going to hydrogen because advocates think they'll need it. At least in the short term. Industries that are hard to electrify, it'll wean them off of fossil fuels. And it might fill gaps in the grid. But when the wind doesn't blow, and the sun doesn't shine. Yeah, yeah. But that's all assuming this green hydrogen stuff works out. Because, of course, it might not. In which case, la-dee-da. We're stuck depending on the same gas infrastructure that got us into this mess. Well, yeah. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. On the bright side, Los Angeles has invested quite handsomely in wind, solar, and battery storage. So maybe hydrogen is just another spoon in the fork drawer. Spoons, forks. Listen, kid, don't stress about it. What are you doing this weekend? What, what am I doing this weekend? I've seen weekend? some cumbia on Silver Lake. You ought to come. Oh, well, well thanks, but I'm, I'm busy. I'm, uh, I'm cleaning out my gutter. Gutters? I love cleaning gutters. I'll come give you a hand. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>